Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback. Start on the ground here at Sanders. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. A good gain on first. Has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. And now the Eagles going to signal for a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. Another run here with Sanders. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. Knife's his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Here's Hurts to throw. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. Pulling the gain of three on the play. And now it's third and four. I think defensively you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him. Quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle it, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up any chance of catch after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stuffed them for almost no gain. They're going on fourth down with Hurts. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they wind up with a gain of 11 there on fourth down. 11 yards on the pickup, and it'll be a Philadelphia first down. Throwing his hurts. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And every game we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play good zone defense behind them. And they get their first sack of the contest.
to try again after the sack. Oh, come on. The pressure from multiple guys there as they bury him for a big nine-yard loss. Now make that a second sack here on their first drive out defensively, and not to get ahead of ourselves, but they're they're on pace for double-digit sacks at this point. But they got to find a way to tamp that down, aren't they? So if you're the play caller, you're telling your quarterback maybe some screens, maybe some draws, hard count, use your voice inflection a little bit, anything to try and slow that pressure down. It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Quez Watkins, 60 yards. And the Eagles get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Quite the drive there to get things started. They took up the bulk of the first quarter, and they end up in the end zone. And I love your last point, ended up in the end zone. Because a lot of teams like those long drives, especially to keep their offense off the field, right? Keep the ball away from them. But they finished it with a touchdown. That's the exclamation point. Now flip it over defensively. They've got to slow that down somehow, right? Maybe they need to be a little more aggressive, maybe a few more pressures towards the quarterback. the touchdown. Here's Elliott on to kick it away. And a short kick taking it about the 16. And up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. First and 10 at their own 26. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Well, that's not the way you want to start. A first pass attempt and a first drop all in one. Well, you've got plenty of time to make up for it, but obviously not the way you want to get things started. Got to shake that off and get going. Fake the give to Sanders, now Hurts. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Well, they certainly came out firing in this one, and while that one was incomplete, I can't imagine that'll be the last shot that they take in this game. He'll drop to throw. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on. A big call coming on third down. So they take the flag and the yardage that comes with it. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. First and ten, it's Hurts. It's caught by Sanders. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Smith catches left side. 
And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. First down, Hurts. And his throw's going to be incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. Oh, shit. They'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. Shotgun snap, and then the give to Sanders. Oh, fine work there as he gets this thing down to the 11-yard line. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. First and 10 at the 11. Here's a quick throw caught by Smith. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. And it's completely back in the hands of Smith. Touchdown, Eagles! Devontae Smith on the receiving end for Jalen Hurts. And the Eagles are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Had the option there, read it perfectly, and an easy little touchdown toss. And it has to be a sharp throw, too, because of where they are on the field. The extra traffic, things are condensed near the goal line. Good route by the receiver as well. Elliott good with a PAT, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Taken from about the 12. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. offense sent to begin their next drive good drive last time really effective passing the football do you maybe mix it up now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit I would anticipate the defense making some changes but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction they're doing so well throwing the ball yeah, well, I'm I wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so 23 yards on the play Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Now Sanders. And across the midfield, stripe into Eagle territory. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork, and add a little, little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. They'll go again with Sanders. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. And with that, they're now out of 
five timeouts. There's still plenty of time remaining here in this second quarter. Burt sets up to throw it. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A.J. Brown, 44 yards. And the Eagles have taken the lead. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly round, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You got it down, Pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine from the receivers. That meant fly route, go. Uh-oh, look out. That was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secured. A lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And the football changing hands here as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. Finding space at the 40. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Nothing, 19. To throw on second and 10. Hurts. Oh, and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. Nicobe Dean showing his strength and quickness there, a loss of four. Well, he shot in CD like he was out of a cannon from that linebacker position. And even though they had a running back in the backfield, no one could stop him. Well, you certainly diagnosed that play perfectly because as fast as he got into the backfield, you're exactly right. The running back had no shot to get over and try to protect his quarterback, and a sack resulted. Well, this is Smith with a ground. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll look to throw here. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked off by James Bradbury. And the Eagles are going to get the football back at their own 17. Before we came up to the booth, last thing he said as we were walking off the field, want to play mistake-free football. Well, that just went out the window there with a the pick. Andy, you remember what you said to me when we were walking up to the booth after he said that? You're like, oh, fatal last words. Every time we hear that, things tend to fall apart a little bit, and that's what we saw there. Didn't get enough on that throw, and it turned into an interception. And he'll get this up over the 25 to the 26. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. Now back to throw. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. 
The pressure from multiple guys there as they bury him for a big nine-yard loss. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. And they will not get a chance to return this one. It's through the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. One thing that offensive guys stress when they throw the deep ball, you're just counting on your receiver to find it, adjust before the defensive back can get his head around. In this case, though, the DB matched it move for move and knocked it away. Hurts throw here taken in as he's able to find Goddard. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Hurts. He delivers another to Goddard, complete. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Back to throw again. And this is caught. It's Brown. Down inside the 10. Touchdown. A.J. Brown, 42 yards. And the Eagles are an extra point away from capturing the lead. Great corner out there. Not only able to catch it, turn it upfield, and get into the end zone. It usually involves a little bit of an extra move, doesn't it? You've got to get them thinking that you're moving to the middle of the field and you're breaking away to that corner. Boy, that was well executed. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. So, unable to throw it in for two from the two. Let me ask you, as a former DB, what changes there around the goal line on a two-point conversion as far as how you're defending it? You just make sure you never back up and you never retreat. You, you establish yourself really on the line of scrimmage, put your heels on the goal line at worst. If they're going to throw the ball, make them throw it over your head because they're going to run out of space because of the back of the end zone. You never let a guy catch one in front of you. Well, that return gives them a golden opportunity to go out in front. How will the defense respond after giving up that type of a return? So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. A give running left. It's Sanders. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. 52 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. He's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. They usually know it as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. It's a second down run with Sanders. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Miles Sanders, a 10-yard touchdown run as they have taken the lead. 
That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. So they'll go ahead and accept the penalty. Let's go for two here, he says. Hurts will throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Interesting call there. They went for two even after the penalty from the seven-yard line. It didn't pay off. I think the first thought is to go ahead and kick the extra point, but you're not kicking it from the seven-yard line. Yeah, because right? you, you get pushed snap. five back on the PAT as well. Right, so they have to take it from the 15 to administer the penalty. So now you're kicking it around 40 yards. So I understand why they probably went for two there. They thought they had a better play and a better chance in that situation. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. To throw once more on second and 10. Hurts, and that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. But just a lot going on there in the middle of the field, and this one winds up a turnover. Yeah, the running crossing route here, and the idea of it is to get defenders confused about who to go with. But if you throw it too early, sometimes it's your quarterback that gets confused in here. He throws it into coverage and gets it intercepted. They'll run with Sanders. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. How about the job there on the outside? Shed the wide receiver and was able to make the tackle on the perimeter. Second down and goal. Hurts. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. Hassan Reddick picks up his second sack of the afternoon. 
And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has not received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Touchdown, Eagles! Devontae Smith on the receiving end from Jalen Hurts. And the Eagles take the interception on defense and convert it into six points. I think if you pulled defensive backs, they would say the corner route, take that out, make it illegal, because that is so hard to recognize and so hard to adjust because your first move is to not get beat in the middle of the field. And that's how they move you first before they break off to the corner. But then as the wide receiver, great job. It's tough to turn those upfield and go, but he did a great job with it there. A really good balance, really good body control. And how about the end result? A touchdown. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. And he's going to be taken down inside the ten at about the eight-yard line. offense sent to begin their next drive. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And he's taken down. Back in his own seven. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. What a nice read and play by the defensive tackle. Never bought the play action fake. Went right for the quarterback and put him on the ground. The sack cost him only a yard. It's second and 11. Here's Hurts to throw. Man open left side is Brown. And he is out of bounds, able to get it across the 20-yard line. That'll put him at 77 yards receiving for the ball game. It's a first down. Play action. Here's Hurts. And he is going to be taken down. And that should be the final play of this third quarter. Three quarters have come and gone. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Another try after the first down sack. Hurts. And Hurts is intercepted. His third of the game. And the Eagles are going to take possession. They should have quit when I offered. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Bison, 
They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Well, about three yards there to the 27. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces, and, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations. There'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. On third down, they turn to Sanders. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. A three-yard loss. Fourth down now. But that's not an easy play for a defensive end because most of his responsibility has him getting upfield and working, but how about his vision to see where the play was going, crashed down inside, and tackled him for a loss. They're going on fourth down with Hurts. And incomplete on the deep ball. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. And the Eagles defense able to hold. And I am not sure, partner, there, what the mindset was to go for. I don't know. And some teams just feel that possession is the key to everything. They just want to have the football in their hands. No matter how it goes to the other team, they just don't trust doing that. So they said, listen, go for it and try to finish it ourselves. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. On second and ten. Hurts. He's got a man complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Throwing his Hurts. And that is incomplete here. I'm not even sure I know who this guy is out there playing right now. This is very unlike him, one of the most accurate guys in the league. Totally off his game right now. I don't know. I was going to ask you what you pin it on, but defensively, they've been pretty solid. But sometimes, you know, those defenders, they get into the receivers pretty well, and if they chip away at their timing, it's going to affect what you're doing throwing the ball as well. Hurts throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Let's go. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. They'll look to throw again. Looking left side for Watkins, and he's got it. And he has another first down, and so get the ball down to the Eagles' 22-yard line. Again, he'll drop to throw. Over the middle here to Brown. And he'll be taken down after a gain of about eight, as that will lead us to the two-minute warning. That'll give them eight that time, and they'll be left with second and a couple. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. And now the focus is really clear. They need to get that first down and either get out of bounds or maybe use one of those timeouts. Let's 
They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Completion here now, third and two. They'll drop to throw toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. throw for it with Hurts. Flushed out right. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. It's N'Kobe Dean with a pick. And the Eagles are going to get the ball back on the turnover as they hold on fourth down. Well, I guess an interception at this point on fourth down is just as bad as an incomplete pass. Either way, the ball goes over to the other side. He has a tough spot to be in this late in the game, and there's not a whole lot he can do there. And he winds up giving the ball away. That one looks like he'll throw here. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. And they'll get him down up past the 15, just shy of the 20. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got to jump here. And that'll be a free five yards for the offense. Just like a tennis match, that's just an unforced error. Stay alert, don't jump early, and give them free yardage. A bit of a jump there, CD. He breaks the line, and that'll be five yards. And you've got to stay more disciplined than that, bro. 